Welcome everyone to our tribute to the fallen. I'm here with our final two, Kayla and Matthew, as they have found their way to navigate themselves all the way to the end of the expedition to the final ascent where they will now battle for the jury's votes. But before we get to that, we're going to go through the cast and talk about the game a little bit and how you guys got yourselves to this point. So let's start things off with our first deserted player, Kat. So she was with Team Adam. So first person to be eliminated from your team. Um, Kayla, what went into the decision to eliminate uh, Kat? Super easy. She didn't show up to the challenge. We were all desperate to not be the first out. So she made it really easy on us. That's all it came down to. Yeah, Matthew, it doesn't take much when, when it's the first person, does it? Yeah, I mean, there was even speculation that it was like an advantage the other team had, maybe possibly, but either way, it was an easy vote. Yeah, I mean, Kat was a big personality, and I, I think you guys did yourselves a favor because she had some she had some uh, plans to 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 come after and cause some drama out there. So uh, you guys may have uh, dodged a bullet with that one. As uh, <laughs> Kat's a lot of fun. She's actually uh, related to one of the mods, uh, Carl. So. Uh, yeah, really happy she played. Unfortunately, someone's got to be the first one out. So this yeah. one in this game that was Cat. Uh, next up, we had Nate. Nate surprised me a little bit. Uh, what what made Nate stand out? To be honest, I was thinking about the Nate vote, and I could not remember a reason why we got rid of Nate other than his name came up, and then it was just it. Yeah. Um. I guess my guess would be he just wasn't able to relate to everyone from a social standpoint. He was the youngest on our um, party. Um, he, I think, through no fault of his own, he was in school. So a lot of times he had to be doing homework and that's just taking time away bonding from people. So we were still in the phase where, you know, we were trying to find that easy vote. And I think his name just kind of became an easy name. Yeah, I mean, those are fair points. Uh, in Expedition Online, I mean, you're still going through your daily life, and sometimes that can get in the way, as we saw throughout the game. Um, yeah, and unfortunately for Nate, caught him early there. So, now as we move on to our next player, we have Ron. Now, Ron's not someone that neither of you guys got a chance to play with, but what was it like playing against Ron? She's kind of a big personality. Uh, you could definitely hear her at those challenges. Yeah, we had some feedback that she was always the one on their party um, wanting to keep the conversation going. Um, so we kind of had a couple people like that on our party, too. Um, so she seemed really friendly. She seemed really enthusiastic about the game. Yeah, no, she didn't have a lot of experience. I actually don't think she'd ever watched much Survivor. Um, Nay, that's that's got to really put you back in this game, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, oh, I called you Nate. Matthew, I'm sorry. I was a little confused there. <laughs> um, yeah, that definitely will set you back. I mean, it was the same sort of thing with Deshaun, I think, too. I don't think she really knew the game she was playing, so it definitely doesn't help. Yeah, for sure. I mean, there's a lot of little strategy things that, that you pick up while watching Survivor that Ron didn't get, one of, one of which being she didn't have a plan going into the crossroads. And I think we all know if you don't have a plan going into the crossroads, you're probably the plan. Yeah. Unfortunately, that caught up with Ron. And then next out, we had Jon Snow. Jon Snow is another big personality. He's actually played our uh, our game before and unfortunately su suffered a bit of a similar fate. Uh, what, were your, what were your guys' thoughts on uh, Jon Snow? We knew that he had played this game before, so I think that put a target on his back. But otherwise, we didn't really interact with him too much. He seemed like a big character as well. Um, I I kind of liked that he was a target for our team because it helped unify our team. It obviously never came into fruition because he left before we, um, you know, met up with the other team. But, yeah, he was a big personality. Seemed like a good character. Yeah, and it seems like the target kind of, kind of went along with that a little bit as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and then our next player, so here's someone you guys did get a chance to play with a little bit from Team Wendell, and that's Bobby, as he got caught up in that fake rendezvous 
where he got really tight with uh, Team Adam, and unfortunately Team Wendell seemed to notice, and when the first chance they got, they voted him out. Um, what were your thoughts on Bobby, and did either of you guys talk to him during the fake run or anything? I, I did not. He was actually one of the few that I did not talk to, so I was happy that he left because I didn't have any relationship with him. Um, we were a little bit surprised that he went because it seemed like Shannon was on the outs. Um, but the other party did explain to us basically what you just said, Jonathan, that he was really talkative with our party. It just wasn't me. Yeah, he hit the ground running. Uh, Matthew, what were your thoughts on, on Bobby? Or? I didn't really get to talk to him much. Um, but since I didn't really have a relationship, uh, I was kind of happy to see him go. And I was also surprised it wasn't Shannon, but he does love that Vice golf hat. I see him wearing it in every picture, and every time he was on camera, he was wearing that hat. So, <laughs> yeah, it's a solid look for him. <laughs> Looking good in that pick for sure. Uh, yeah, I mean, the strong strategic player, unfortunately, uh, yeah, got caught up in one of the twists there. So, moving on, we have D Deshaun. Uh, loved her accent. I could listen to her talk all night. Uh, she, she was actually the first person voted off of her party and yeah. And then she ended up uh, with you guys. What, what were your thoughts on Deshaun and, and how she played the game? Uh, okay. Uh, so Deshaun, I really enjoyed Deshaun. Uh, we brought her over hoping she would uh, say some dirt about the other team, but she really didn't. She's just a really sweet person. Um, and she was just a joy to be around. It was sad. Because I think there was a medical thing where she wasn't there, and I think she got voted out during that time. But she was she was great to be around. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, her husband getting sick, and she had to miss the day. And due to a compass play from Dixon, she ends up in a one-one vote, and then lost on the revote there. Kayla, um, do you think had she had been there, maybe it would have been a different result for her? Um. I don't think so. I think, unfortunately, because she was from the other party, she was always going to be an easy vote. Um, she also, like Matthew said, never really talked badly about the other team, and that's what we wanted. Um, she had nothing bad to say about them, and I was actually a little bit worried that she would go back to them when we um, – made the rendezvous. So I loved her. She is just such a, she just radiates positivity. I wish I had like a fraction of that in my everyday life. So she was really nice to be around, but she did make me nervous because I wasn't sure where her loyalties lie. Yeah, absolutely. She gets that rendezvous and uh, she might've been kind of in the middle there and maybe been able to been in a good position to make some moves. So yeah, it might've been a, a good play for you guys to, to get rid of her there. And then next up, we had Shannon. So, yeah, Shannon was fighting from the bottom for, for at least a, a couple crossroads there. But, unfortunately, finally caught up to her. His numbers really dwindled on Team Wendell. Um, what, were your, what were your guys' thoughts on Shannon? She was quite a competitor. She was one of the few that I was able to talk to on that fake um vote together. I really liked her. I connected with her pretty quickly. I think it was also because she was on the bottom. So I was really trying to put myself out there for her. Um, you know, she could have worked with us. It's a shame that she didn't make it far enough. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Matthew, any inter interactions with Shannon? Or thought I didn't really interact with Shannon much. Um, there was one point where she and I believe JJ, they made like a snide comment in the crossroads and that caused a, a little bit of suspicion and was a little annoying to us. Um, but otherwise, no. Yeah, another one where I think, uh, had she made the rendezvous, she was uh, she was wheeling and dealing and definitely trying to make some moves um, over there on Team Wendell. It would have been fun to kind of see her try to navigate uh, both groups there. But, unfortunately, just missed out there, as did our next explorer, Troy. So Troy was dominating those competitions. Like yes, he was, he was. He was a front runner as far as those were concerned. Um, what were your thoughts when you guys seen uh, that Troy was eliminated? I was happy he was out just because he seemed like a challenge threat. I didn't really get to talk to him much or anything, but I was happy that when he got eliminated. 
Yeah. yeah, he was the only other one besides Bobby that I wasn't able to talk to from the other party when we had that that grouping. Um, but obviously, like you already said, he was a ch- huge competitor. So it was it was a big win for us because he would have definitely made it hard for us in the rendezvous. Yeah, for sure. He definitely would have been uh, giving you a bit of a run there in those ex- and those exemption uh, challenges. and. Uh, yeah, I mean, he had a pretty good footing there in Team Window, but again, with the numbers dwindling down as far as they did, unfortunately, uh, they ran out of room, and there was a solid three ahead of them. So that's the way this game goes sometimes. Uh, and speaking of that three, we have the first Fallen in the Rendezvous and our first member of our jury. So Rachel was um, the first eliminated from the Rendezvous, who... Well, 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 why did you guys decide to go after Rachel instead of, at that point, JJ and, and Schneidman uh, of Team Wendell? I, I can answer that. So it was actually supposed to be, well, at least from my perspective, I don't know Matthews. Um, it was supposed to be JJ at first, but we wanted to give Dixon a fake name, and he already knew JJ, so we switched it to Rachel. It was honestly just like unfortunate luck of the draw. Um, and we got lucky that, you know, it turned out that she was the only one of the three who didn't have a compass. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, definitely, definitely lucked out on that one. Um, yeah. And I, I think Rachel might've been kind of the glue that was, that was keeping that three together. Um, she did pretty well in the challenges as well. Matthew, uh, what's your perception of, of Rachel and how she may vote? Uh, Rachel kind of scared me. Uh, <laughs> she us, yeah, she, she like yelled at me in that one crossroad <laughs> that right before she got voted out. So I feel like she's going to tear, tear into me tonight. So we'll see. <laughs> yeah, Kayla, do you, do you agree with that? Do you think she's going to be a, a feisty jury member? I hope that she dislikes Matthew more than me just because she did yell at him. I think that maybe I have an edge on the Team Wendell players and he might have an edge on the Team Adam players. So I'm hoping that she's nicer to me than Matthew, but she she is scary. She could go in on both of us. Yeah, uh, I mean, she she definitely she started off the jury and she's been there the whole time. So I, think, I definitely think... Uh, um, listening to her, you're gonna, gonna kind of get an idea of how the rest of the jury's uh, gonna respond. There, you're gonna get their temperature. That's the way to speak. Um, from there, you guys decide to keep up the get out team Wendell phase of the game, as JJ would be our second jury member. Um, in what was a wild crossroads, as two players were voted out at this at this crossroads, JJ getting the majority of the vote. Um, what were your guys' thoughts on JJ? I, my, there was no secret. My party was very scared of JJ. We pegged him as the biggest and best player since, since very early on. I liked him. I actually like broke out in a room with him on like that first day. Um, and I talked to him and then I actually got pulled to the whisper rooms and the, both the tribals that he was there by him so um i liked him but i definitely kept him at arm's length because he was a very self-interested and good player so um i think it was a big win for me when he did end up leaving because it was close he almost didn't leave he got three votes you know the other two got two so it was intense yeah matthew do you have a chance to speak on uh, I didn't really talk to JJ much, but from the get-go, JJ sort of gave me the vibes that he knew how to play this game. And I think we had looked up and he had played similar games or other orgs and had lots of experience within these. So I think he was a big threat for a majority of the game. I was glad to see him go. Yeah, JJ is definitely an experienced uh, in the in the org community. Uh, he's played a lot of the online reality games. And yeah, I mean, it showed. He He picked up a compass relatively quickly, I think the most obvious one um, and was really calculated and yeah, he would have given you guys trouble had he uh, gotten a little more footing in that rendezvous. All right. Next up, we had the first casualty of the rendezvous for team Adam as Sophia. She um, 
ended up taking the majority vote in the split vote on that double crossroads. Why did we decide to go with Sophia instead of Meredith at that point? Oh, I want to hear Matthew's take because this is where we we uh diverged. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was always close to Meredith for pretty much this entire game. Uh, and Sophia was sort of always in my head. The like We had the core four of Kayla, Meredith, Holly, and I. And then Sophia was sort of like the fifth on the edge for me. And she had done a few things in the game that were kind of sneaky to me. And so I definitely wanted to keep Meredith over her when it came down to it. Yeah, Kayla? So, <laughs> Sophia was actually, like, <laughs> my number one. Um, I don't think anyone knew that. Um, I don't know. This is, like, the part of my game that's really hard for me to explain. Um, but Sophia and I were the ones who kind of went for Meredith in that round. And then when it was tied up, I actually flipped on her because I thought all of Team Adam was going to vote her out because exactly what Matthew said, like a lot of people didn't trust her. So I ended up coming up with the plan to get out Meredith and then I still ended up voting Sophia out. It was a it was a rough round for you, girl. Yeah. Uh, so, Kaylee, are you worried about what Sophia might ask or might say? Yeah, I'm worried about a lot of people, and Sophia is definitely probably top three. Yeah, I, I got to say, uh, I, I thought things were going to go a different way at, at that crossroads for sure. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun to watch. Um, but very unfortunate to, to lose such a strong player like Sophia because, uh, yeah, she, she definitely had a game plan there. So... It's going to be fun to hear from her tonight. Is Next it? up, we had Holly. Holly, very strong, opinionated player. Um, I was definitely surprised that that target turned on her so quick. And I'm trying to remember what the vote was. I'm pretty sure you guys ended up being unanimous on Holly at that point. Yeah. Um, Kayla, why was that? What, what happened with Holly and, and why did she um, be I was always threatened by Holly, actually. So when it, it, it was supposed to be me, Matthew, Meredith, and Holly, I never really felt comfortable with that. I felt like I was kind of the weak link in that um, alliance. I think I said even early on in my confessionals that Holly probably has a lot more going on than we all realize. I think she was like a huge threat. I thought she was like the number one threat at that point in the game and so when her name came up I was like salivating at the idea because I was like this breaks up the whole game because I thought she was the front runner so um I thought it was great for my game that she left like that so I was all for it when I heard it yeah and Matthew I mean you you just mentioned the, the core four which she was involved in there um why why do you think uh, Holly was broken off of that so early this this vote was tough for me, and uh, uh, for several reasons, I had the disadvantage, I believe, for this vote. So I had to say it out loud. Yes. Um, but there was there's a lot of things. My name was thrown around a few times, so I think I was a little more paranoid than I normally would be, mm-hmm. and I was just happy to vote out anything that wasn't my name at that vote. And Holly, I did consider to be the fourth out of the four. So if there was one to go out of those four, I was happy it was her. Yeah, and you know what? I, I think you guys might have done yourselves a favor because, like I said, she's she's a firecracker, and uh, I think she was about to turn it on in this game. So, yeah, I was scared of her. Yeah, absolutely. And talking about someone who definitely made a splash in the game, let's move on to Dixon. Dixon was it looked like he was at the bottom of Team Adam pretty much the whole game. He had to play a compass at one point to save himself. Seemed like he kept trying to get in that alliance, but you guys were shutting him down. Um, yeah, why couldn't Dixon find any any footing in Team Adam? You want to go first? Yeah, I'll go first. <laughs> uh, Dixon was just really paranoid and a wild card and chaotic, and we could really never trust him. Even when he like apparently was with us, we could not tell because he was just so paranoid. And he, we just never knew what he was going to do. Yeah, Kaylee, you agree with that? I see you not. I mean, one hundred percent. It's like I could not trust him with an ounce of information ever. 
it was so stressful working with him. I mean, he was just a ticking time bomb, and he had nine lives in these in this game. I told Team Adam like over and over again, like after he played that compass correctly, like my mind was consumed with Dixon and thoughts of Dixon and navigating the Dixon situation. So uh, he was he was crazy. He was very difficult to navigate. I mean, like you said, he made a splash. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. He he was a lot of fun to watch, and you know, quietly, secretly, I was rooting for him because I love an underdog, and he was uh, he was putting up a fight. And I think uh, yeah, you guys did a great job getting him out when you did, because if you gave him a little more footing there, he he might have won on a on a competition run. Is he was doing pretty well in those comps as well. And then another thing that was really good was the um, the. Holly vote before we all kind of made him paranoid so he played his compass because if he didn't play his compass we still wouldn't have been able to get him out at six mm -hmm. is anyone worried about where dixon's vote might lie or do you think up in the air what do you think i don't really i would assume i assume most people might be leaning kayla but I will, i'll have to convince them but i think i could convince dixon possibly i think he liked the whole game when dixon and i would get in the room together like he, I think he wanted to like be my friend, like just in real life, like we connected. But every time, like I was not working with him, so it was kind of awkward. He's like, "Dude, I got you, I got you, I got you," and I was like, ah, "I mean, I like you, like as a person." So it, we'll see. I think yeah, I his like vote. You. I think his vote is definitely up in the air. Yeah. Just like in the game, Dixon is very hard to read. <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna be a wild card all the way to the end, I'm sure. So it'll be it'll be fun to see what he has to say and what his questions are gonna be like. Uh, our next player eliminated, um, Hager. Hager. Every time I asked a question at Crossroads, Hager was the first one to answer. Uh, it seemed like he he had a good footing with in the game, but obviously wasn't part of the core four. Um, why why couldn't Hager get into that group and and what eventually led to him going out here? Uh, he was always just a little louder than all of us and a little boisterous. Like there's times after votes and stuff, he'd be like gloating in the, in the chat. And like, that's a red flag for me. So there were, there was there a few things where I didn't really want to work with him too close, but I really enjoyed him. Like he, he was a super cool guy. I had a lot of fun playing the game with him. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Kayla, what were your thoughts on Hager and this game? So, um, after the Sophia vote, Hager was kind of left on an island because he was the only Adam person who voted Meredith out. Um, and so I really confided in him after that because I was with Sophia kind of in that round. Um, and we really connected. I think he did feel a little bit on the outs. Um, and we formed a really great bond. And I truly think that the Holly and Dixon votes went so well because of Hager. I think he turned it on that night, like more than anything. I mean, he played it perfectly. He got everyone to unanimously vote out Holly. It was his idea. He got called out in tribal or in um, crossroads by Dixon and he bluffed the hell out of Dixon. Um, so, you know, he was like very much an overshare talkative person, but he like really came into an, his own that round. And so, I mean, he almost played too good. Like, after that, I was like, dang, he is good. Like, and so he can't, he actually went to the top of my like threat level just because not only is he a huge likable character, like, he just like played the hell out of that last round. Yeah, it, it seemed like uh, he, he really knew what he was doing. I, I thought he played the best crossroads game um, where he, he was talkative and you know, maybe talked a little bit too much, but everything he was saying, it seemed like it was. It was landing in the right spots, um, which is really hard to do um, when you're talking to a group. So I was impressed by that. I, the more he talked, I thought he was going to talk himself into trouble, but it didn't seem like that was that was the case for him, which was which was really impressive to see. And if he ever does get on the show, which I know is a huge um, goal of his, uh, this was a great experience, and I think uh, will help him in that. So I'd be excited to watch Hager on an island yeah. for sure. Oh yeah, I would love to watch him. I think he would do really good. I think he probably learned a lot just from playing this one game too. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. You definitely get the strategy and the social aspect. It's obviously a little bit different when you're twenty four seven with it, but I mean, you're still eighteen strangers voting each other off. So, 
And another person I'd love to see on the island. Absolutely. So our last team Wendell player, Schneidman, uh, not the best in the competitions, but he did grab a couple advantages uh, and played the social game, and I thought pretty well. Uh, what were you guys' thoughts on Schneidman? Why was he the last team Wendell, do you think? Uh, Schneidman, so he snaked his way all the way to the end, and when it came down to like the final four, I was not going to let him snake any further. I was like, if he gets to the end, he wins, 100%. Like, at least against Kayla, I might have a sliver of a chance. Schneidman, there's no way. Um, and so he, he just, he was bad at challenges, which helped him, I guess, make him not seem like as big of a threat, but he was still good at like trivia. So I was always kind of worried about him this whole game. He managed to snake all the way through. Yeah. I, I thought he was playing up the, the bad at challenges things a little bit, but then it kept happening. So I thought, okay, maybe I'll believe it. <laughs> uh, Kayla, what were your thoughts on Schneidman? Uh, how worried did he have you? <laughs> I really loved playing with Schneidman. He was like a true joy for me. Like he was another one that I got really close to after the Sophia vote out because I knew that he felt on the outs as well with Hager. And I actually formed like a really nice, um, fun tr threesome with Hager and him. Um, we worked really well together. And um, I think that, yeah, I. I just loved working with him. I want to call him an honorary Team Adam because I felt like he was Team Adam to me. Um, I think that he might have been like the closest to me, like strategy and social wise. Maybe I'm like, I don't know, giving myself too much of a compliment. But I think anytime I strategized with him, it just went so well um, that I just really enjoyed him. And um, I feel like out of the three Team Wendells, on in the rendezvous he was really the only one i could have worked with yeah he was he was a good talker and i thought he yeah. did a good job of pushing the target off of himself while trying to bring a group together and it he had he had a chance i mean at the final four there there was some talks of of a of a tie vote but Kev, was that was that mostly just kind of see where his vote was going cuz eventually you just kind of threw yours no, that wasn't. Meredith scared the hell out of me. I was definitely considering it. Remember that, Matthew? Did I scare you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was worried. That's why I, I don't know like, if you like, saw, Jonathan, but I was like, Matthew, if you guys are pulling one over on me, I can tie this right now. So, no, like, Schneidman's good. Like, he made me paranoid several times throughout this game. Like, all credit to him. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. He, he definitely fought all the way to the end. Uh, yeah. Did a great job. Last team Wendell uh, member, which is not an easy feat to be the last person in your party. So, yeah, it was a lot of fun watching him play. Hopefully, we'll, we'll see him play again. And then, finally, our last member of the jury. She made it all the way to the final three with you guys, only to get knocked out. What were your thoughts on Meredith? Obviously, she, she played a great game getting all the way to the final three. I thought socially, everyone seemed to love Meredith. Uh, what were your guys' thoughts? Yeah, everyone loved Meredith. Um, I thought she was truly the glue that held the Adam team together. I think she was the nucleus. That's why I went for her in that, um, that double vote out. Um, I think Meredith is pretty much a lock for Matthew. Like, I betrayed her all the way back in Final Nine, and I pretended like they didn't the entire game. So I'm definitely the most worried about, or she's one of the ones I'm most worried about um, in this jury session. And and Matthew, arguably, it seemed like you and Meredith were a bit of a pair for a lot of the game. Um, how did that come about? And and what were your thoughts on her game as a whole? Uh, we just connected really well early, but I think she did a great job. Her and I, I think, had pretty similar games. Um, but she did a great job of connecting with everyone else. And I just felt like every time I talked to her, I could just trust her. So I guess that sort of just built itself up throughout the game. Yeah, absolutely. can go a long way, right? Yeah. And it could have very easily been Meredith here in, in the final two. Kaylee, you had that decision. Um, you want to talk a little bit about why you decided uh, to vote up Meredith and, and not Matthew? Or are you? Yeah, I mean, it was tough. Like, Matthew, you know, it, at this point, both of their arguments were just speculation about the jury. And my decision was also just speculation about the jury. Um, Matthew is, like, a really nice guy and, like, pretty inoffensive. So, like, that is kind of scary to go against that when I feel like 
um, I've pissed a lot of people off. So when Meredith was like, I also pissed people off, that did kind of made me question if, if bringing Matthew was the right decision. Um, so I don't know, but you know, people did talk really highly of Meredith's game for a long time. So that's kind of what tipped the scale. Like if I brought Meredith, I was worried that the jury would look down on me. Maybe obviously this is all just speculation, but like, that's just kind of, I went with the information that I had and that's how I made my decision. Yeah, all all you can really do in this game, right? Is just take the information you have and do your best with it. So that brings us then to just the two of you. So we are going to meet up with the jury. They are going to throw everything at you. I've already seen them chatting a little bit. You guys are in for a quite an evening. I was going to say a treat, but it's not going to be a treat. Um <laughs> So, what we're going to do now is we'll give you guys a few minutes to get yourselves ready and prepared, and then we'll get right to the final ascent. I hope you guys are ready. Ready.